The John B. Thorns Laboratory is a teaching and research facility in geography here at King's. The lab is here to help students and staff bring their research projects to life with a broad range of resources and specialist equipment. There's a large central teaching zone, complemented by a suite of auxiliary analytical labs, which together form an interdisciplinary research space spanning the physical sciences and the growing field of open source electronics. And it's here that our lab staff, themselves seasoned researchers, help students with wide-ranging scientific experience and skills to break new ground in the exploration of physical geography. We cover analytical environmental chemistry, ecology, particle analysis, spectroscopy and electronic engineering. And this enables our students and researchers to explore the physical, chemical, biological and electronic interface in their work. New technology is opening up new research opportunities all the time. Good examples are through the use of innovative remote sensing devices and using 3D printing technology as a fabrication tool in the development of novel data logging devices. The new electronics lab is revolutionising the way that uh, King's geographers are addressing environmental questions. I've been using the new state-of-the-art electronics lab for building data loggers that we take out on our field trips. Previously you might have a budget that could enable you to buy three or four weather stations and now we have a budget that can make 400. So that can really help if you're interested in phenomena such as the urban heat island effect or if you're interested in very small scale changes in moisture on a hill slope and that might be related to the risk of a landslide or, or things like that. In addition to being a self-contained research facility, the lab also acts as a base of operations for staging international field campaigns with a broad array of state-of-the-art field equipment and UAVs. So one of our research topics is analysing the smoke from wildfires in order to understand their impact on Earth's atmosphere. And to do that we use this type of equipment which is a greenhouse gas analyzer. Uh, the smoke goes in here, we can use this in the field and this laser-based system delivers us the concentrations of various gases within the smoke. And whilst this is pretty portable, it's still not that lightweight and is also very expensive. So sometimes we use it, uh, things like this UAV where we can mount much smaller, lower cost, lightweight instruments that still measure the same gases. We can mount these uh, gas analyzers on here and fly this into the smoke plumes themselves. I'm Emma Tebbs, I'm a lecturer in Earth Observation. Um, and my work uses satellite data, but I need to ground truth that using field measurements. So I use the lab to collect reflectance measurements using a spectrometer. So I was out this summer collecting reflectance measurements and water quality data to validate satellite images. We use UAVs in the department um, for both research and teaching. So I um, run a workshop with the undergraduate students using drones. They get hands-on experience at designing their own drone mission and capturing imagery. These are just a few examples of some of the ways in which the John Thorns Lab is helping King students and researchers push the boundaries of our knowledge of the natural environment and help further our understanding of the changing nature of the planet. Our job is to solve problems for you, to help you realise the, the project goals that you have for your research. And really the first step is coming down and, and, and just having a, an informal chat over what it is that you're interested in.